A couple years ago, I was at a homeschool convention uh, for Tempum Institute. We had a table set up. And I was here, and across the way was a big table set up, and there was a posters behind it and everything. And there were all these gorgeous books set out there. And this is, this is an example of one of them. It's this beautiful, looks leather-bound, hard-bound, high-quality book. So I, I'm there for two days, a day and a half, I guess, and I watch people come over to this table. I mean, it's just a constant flow of people just buying up these books. And I'm really curious about what this is. And so finally, we're cleaning up, and, and I haven't gone over there to talk to them, and I, I'm really curious. I finally just said, I'm just going to go ask them what they're about. So I walked over there and I said, well, I, I see you have these beautiful books out here and people have been coming to your table all weekend and I'm just wondering who you are and what you're about. And she says, oh, we're called Lamplighter Publishing. And there's a man, I can't remember his name right now. If you go to Lamplighter, you'll, oh, Mark Hamby. That's who he is. And the woman that was at the table knew him somehow. I can't remember how and I can't remember everything she told me. But basically she said that he was this really um, God-fearing, awesome Christian man who had uh, this gift for editing or something and he decided that he wanted to publish little-known books that would build people's belief in God and Christ. And, that, and she told me some incredible stories about how books just came to him, old manuscripts that or books that were, have been out of publication for a long time would somehow make their way to him and he would comb through them and decide if they really were in harmony with Christian principles and doctrine and if they were then he had put together this publishing company that would publish them and now they do um, they do this really cool retreat thing every summer where he brings in all these experts and he wants he wants to have impact in the media he wants to build um, a, a um, I think he want, I don't know exactly, but I think what he's trying to do is, is build strong, um, God-fearing individuals in the media um, world. And so he's working with publishing books, um, most of them novels, sometimes, some of them children, some of them adult. Um, they're meant to largely be for families, and then they have an audio. They, they act them out in, in audio form, and so they're not just read, often they're dramatized, versions of these stories that families can listen to and he just hopes to build faith and bring people to God. Well, um, so it's this, it's this incredible, incredible resource and it's kind of cool because on their site they, they have a, a handful of tag words that, you know, um, I think their biggest audience is homeschoolers, but they, they'll have, um, they'll have little tag words like sibling rivalry or, oh, I can't remember, honesty or things like that and then they'll recommend a handful of books that would be good to read that would that would go along with that thing and they're some of them are very christian based some of them are more god based so kind of depends on your worldview what you want to do if, if um and so you can just look for that but um so I got an email, I get emails from them regularly, and every once in a while he'll do things over the phone. And so he was doing this lecture over the phone, and I was really curious about it, so I got on and listened in, and he was incredible. So if you get a chance to listen to those lectures, uh, sometimes he'll interview somebody, but he was just talking about genius and how genius is created and... Um, and and talent and, and educating for talent and what the components of that were. And I took a bunch of notes and I can't remember a lot of what he said now, but he told some incredible stories that I've never forgotten. And um, anyway, it was very inspiring. I told several people about it at the time, talked to my children about it, actually had a family meeting to teach them some of the things that I'd learned. So he's an incredible man. It was interesting at the end of the lecture, um, this, you know, some people were like, well, how do I get my kids to do this? And how do I get my kids to do that? And he was answering questions. And, and uh, one woman was like, how do I get my kids to, uh, to be unselfish? And he said, only thing I know to do is send them to a third world country. That's what I've done with all my kids. And that was kind of cool. But then what really struck me was somebody was saying, well, what book would you recommend? And he's like, I don't know. I got like 50 books strewn all over my desk. And he just started naming 
books and it was it was incredible I wrote a few down um, I mean there's no end in today's today's world this is one of the reasons why I do this blog because I want people to have I didn't know where to start so I want people to have some reference point for what some of the best books are that I love but anyway um, so he's incredibly well educated self-educated he talked about how he loves every day he gets up eager to work he thinks that everybody should feel that way he's definitely a studier and a scholar but he's also can connect with people a good a good speaker so Mark Hamby Lamplighter if you get a chance to connect with them so I finished up this um, kind of discussion with this woman and I said um, I said so what is the best book you have here? I want to buy something of yours. I want to see what this is like. So what's the best book here? And she picked up this book called Ishmael. It was originally written in 1876 um, by Eden Southworth. And um, it's, it says Lamplighter Rare Collector Series. It's, it was expensive. It was like $20 or $25. But so worth it. It's a, I guess there's a part two. It sets it up for a part two, which I have not bought. And... Um, I guess the second one is called Self Raised, but it's the story of a young man who just on principles of self discipline and honesty and and um, integrity raises himself up out of a very unfortunate birth and and, and and early childhood situation and really makes something of himself and it's really an incredible novel about character building. But I'll tell you more about it on another on another post. If you want to just get started, you could get Ishmael and read it. I highly recommend it. But I'll give you more details another time on a post specifically about Ishmael. But um, anyway, that's Lamplighter. It's linked here. Go there, check them out, buy some of their stuff. I really, I really think you'll enjoy what they're um, striving to give. They're a very high quality resource for. Um, for books and, and audiobooks and other inspirational um, speeches and, and lectures and interviews and things that will, I think, bring you closer to God and make you a better person. So check them out. See you next time. <laughs>